I have just opened up the size 12 Gracie rep file in the A0 document. Um, whether you're working with A0 or A4 or projector, it'll look a little bit different, but this will just give you a good guide on how to work with the layers. Um, and it will be pretty much the same. So I'm going to head over to the left here. There's this little um, cake tiered symbol. You want to click on that and that will open up your um, layers panel. Um, and you'll see that it will be in different folders. It might also be a little bit slightly different organized for the different A4 and A0 projector. But it will be pretty much the same. Um, so I'm going to go in there and have a wee look. This is what... Um, I'm working with the bundle package for this file um, so if you're working with standard Gracie wrap pattern it'll have a little bit less customizations but it'll just be once again a good guide on how to change customizations for what you do have so to start with this is the front bodice and accessories up here um, and I'll go up to the pages just so you can see it so to begin with, um, we've got the front neckline, so boat neck, v neck, deep square and standard square. Um, you'll see here there's also the different bra cup sizes. So back in the instructions panel pages, there is the sizing guide. Um, so I know after doing that, for example, I know that I'm an A to C bra cup. Um, you might be a D plus bra cup. Um, so you just want to choose the neckline with the corresponding bra cup that you are. Um, and I just want to show you that for, say, for example, the D-plus bra cup, um, you will notice that there is a bit of like an exaggerated um, dark cap, a bit more than you might have seen before. Um, however, don't worry, this is just in order to kind of be able to capture, capture sorry, the excess um, section here into the armhole and side seam. So when you see that, don't worry, that's... Um, on purpose and that dart will fold down and that will be in the instructions later on. So back to the layers. Um, so I'm gonna, for this, I will choose uh, the boat neck front. Um, but I will just show you that there are the other ones and it's important to turn off the layers that you don't want just because then it will, like for example, that's gonna be messy to try and cut. So I'm going to go for boat net front and A to C bra cup because that's me. Then I'll scroll down in this folder and we've got the back neck tie, which I don't actually need on. Um, if you want it for design, you can, but I know that with the boat neck, um, it will stay on my shoulders, this dress. Um, so I can turn that off. I'm going to keep the scrunchie and headscarf on because I might sew them down the line. And the pocket, of course, I'm going to keep on because we've got to have pockets in our Gracie. So I will minimize that page now. And now we're going to head in over to the back bodice folder. Um, and you'll see here that the back bodices are organized in two sections that go with the front bodice that you've just chosen. So because I chose the front um, boat neckline, I'm going to make sure that I'm choosing a back neckline in the four boat neck front section. And if I, of course, chose a V-neck or square, I'd make sure, sure I was choosing it out of here. And then deep square, I'd make sure that I would be choosing the low square back. Um, this is just really important to make sure you're matching your back neckline to your front neckline because um, it means that the shoulders will match up. Otherwise, you would have um, shoulder seams that were a little bit different. So yeah, I'm going to make sure I'm going to choose something from the boat neck front option and I'm going to go for let's go for the low square back and you'll see that it just automatically changes for you so for example we're on the back page here and say if I turned that off and went to boat neck that's going to automatically change for me and the back facings as well and of course the V as well so yeah let's go for boat neck back um, and that's all in that little folder then we're going to head down to sleeves and skirts so um, the options are either short puff sleeve or long shirt sleeve. I will go for the long shirt sleeve. I personally really like the long shirt sleeve because you can have it down at your wrist or you can push it up um, kind of above your elbow depending on how you finish it. Um, so I'll keep it on that. I'll just scroll down so you can see what we're working with. So yeah, so long shirt, so I'm going to keep it on that. But there's the short puff if I did want that. 
So I'm going to turn that off and turn on my long shirt. Then beneath that we have our skirt lengths. So uh, we've catered the different to the different heights because because this um, is originally from our Gracie Wrap made to order. We have worked with a lot of customers and kind of came up with this little um, kind of categorized all the heights here. Um, and which works really well. So for example, I'm 168 centimeters tall So and I want to for example, I'd want a mid thigh finish so I'd find Where I would be which is this one 160 centimeters to 169 That would be me and that's a mid thigh finish um, But you'll see that there's lots of different options here. So I might be 170 and between 170 and 174 and I want it above the knee so if I was I'd select that one and turn off that one and it's just a little bit longer to cater for that so I'm gonna go back over here turn off that and make sure it's on the height that I want which it is um, and of course if you're making a Lydia top in the bundle there's um, the different Lydia skirts as well Okay, so we'll just turn off that. And the last one is waist wraps. Um, for size 6 to 14, you'll have these three. And then the size 16 plus, you'll have the two-toned and thin waist wrap as your standard. Um, there'll be more on that in the inst instructions when you read that. So go down here. And I'll probably just go for, I think, the thin waist wrap. We'll say that I'll do. Um, which can either be sewn in or left separate which will be in the instructions as well um, and that's that and you'll see that when you cut that out once it's um, ready to go these match up here and you just stick it up here okay so that is all that there um, when you are working with A4 or projector you simply just want to change all your customizations and then don't attempt to save it as the free version of um, Acrobat Reader that you have won't uh, let you save it, it'll just revert it back to the original layers, but because you'll just be either printing straight from this or just working in your projector, um, you don't need to save it first, so just that will be fine like that. And then for A0, if you're working with A0, have a look at page 15 on the instructions, the Read Me First instructions, um, because page 15 and 16 go over how to um, set up the A0 and basically an email template to send to your printers to make sure they get your layers for you. So I think that is pretty much all. I'll just double check my notes so that I'm covering everything for you. Yeah, I think that's all. So um, good luck with that and just keep on reading through the instructions to keep going with printing or working with projector or all that kind of stuff.